I'm Rachel Amanda and today I want to talk with you about being in the flow and to start off I want to read a little something for you and it's a small passage that my mom shared with me recently after she was uh, spending a week with my daughter and they really love grandma and granddaughter time it's totally precious and one of the things that they lo both looked forward to on this trip was that it was finally warm enough to go to the lake together and this is what she had to say about their experience at the lake well, at the lake with Jessica, I was feeling my usual state of bliss with creation that I easily get into in such beautiful places. It is a zone that I have aspired to getting into in my daily meditation. I was in that feeling of beauty with the lake, the trees, the eagle soaring overhead, and of course, granddaughter Jessica. She looked up at me. I had not spoken in some time. And then she lay down in the water in the current of the river that is in the lake and said, Grandma, if you want to talk to God, it is best to lie here like this in the flow of the water. It's what I do. Imagine flowing in the water in that way. Uh, maybe you can sense it. Maybe you have also just laid in the flow of the water and felt it run over your body. Or maybe it's a cool breeze as it caresses your skin. There is this definite sense when Mother Nature is there close to you, skin to skin, that just feels really amazing. And when she shared that, I started thinking about how important it is to be in that state of flow all the time, not just in the moments when we're lying in a lake or sitting in a field and enjoying the cool breezes, but every single moment of every single day. And I started thinking about how being in that flow is about being in divine connection with God all of the time and how important that is and how it's true that that connection is available to us all the time and it's up to us to allow it and to break down the barriers and to just be in the flow. And how to do that, I guess, is the real question. And one of the things that's really important is that idea of daily meditation or some kind of practice that is sitting in stillness and quiet, allowing communication with God. That might be meditation, it might be prayer, it might be walking in nature, which I guess perhaps technically is another form of meditation, but some way in which we are having that regular connection. Because when we practice that and we get very familiar with it, we can then begin to sense it in the other moments of our lives. We can sense it when we're lying in the flow of the current. We can sense it when there's just sort of really great communication flowing out of us as we're writing an uh, email or getting ready to have a really important conversation with someone. You can feel it when you're just creating a beautiful dish. These are all examples in my own life and, and I know that uh, there are many other examples for how other people might experience that really divine flow and that divine connection too. However you experience it, I think it's important to be very mindful when you are feeling that flow because then we can lock in, this is how this feels for me and I want to feel it more often and I intend to feel it more often. And as we make that intention and we continue to be mindful, that experience of being in the flow and being connected happens more and more over the course of the day until you are feeling that sense of flow all day every day and you know that you're connected and even when things are going on that aren't really great you can still tap into that feeling of flow and that feeling of connectedness and knowing that you're being looked after even when it's hard to see that that's true and so that's what i wanted to share with you today is this idea of being in flow I would love to hear if you have an experience of being in flow that you would like to share with the rest of us. All you have to do is scroll to the bottom of the page and leave a reply. I can't wait to hear all the different amazing ways that each of you are experiencing of being in flow and being in connection with God. And while you're there and sharing with me your experience of being in flow, make sure that you subscribe so that you don't miss another episode. If you're watching this on YouTube, all you have to do is hit the subscribe button. If you're here on my blog, make sure that you subscribe there as well so that you don't miss another episode. Until next week.